Putting haters to shame, and they both got that master plan. It ain't nothing you can do to stop their thing. The Styles family, the Styles family, Styles family. Oh yeah. Hey, what's good, Style Squad? <laughs> It's your boy, Big Big Remo. I'm here with the beautiful, talented. I am Remo Styles. That's my name? No, really. <laughs> uh, I am Handsome Styles. I'm here with Dr. No Styles, everybody. Are you sure, doctor? Some people don't believe that. I'm a real doctor. Like, there's not jokes, it's not an IG name. Like, I'm a real doctor, so put some respect. Like, um, like Dr. J? No, like, like Dr. Pepper, like the doctor that puts the speculum up your woo like PhD. No, like the doctor that puts your sp the thing up your woo <laughs> <laughs> We're back with another banger video on this beautiful evening, and tonight is date, date night. night. Pastor Rock's Snow's turn again. We didn't even record on Babe's turn. Why not? It was on. Um, I don't know. <laughs> We we'll back, so it's my cool. turn, and y'all know on date night is always a surprise. Not always, sometimes. Not always. Well, not always. Most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. That's, that's Tonight right is a surprise, it's a surprise right? and it's really late. It's like it's seven thirty. We usually don't go out this it's like late. Seven forty-five. Only because of me, we don't go out this late. Tonight, though, for a very special night, we are going out this late. Let's go, and we're driving. Wait, you want me to drive? I'll drive. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we made it to Brooklyn. It took us not too long. Like 45 minutes. And we are in... The Dumbo? No. <laughs> Bed Bedstock? Wow, is this somebody's whole house? Um, I forgot what part of Brooklyn we're in. This is a, that's not the correct block. But I'm about to show you. I'm about to be a creep. As I was saying, I don't know why I didn't become a real estate agent because, babe, tell them the way I'm obsessed with. <laughs> With houses, with houses and, yeah. and real estate and I don't know. I mean, it's not too late. I probably could do it, but how many things I'm going to do in life? Never too late, though. That's true. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little peek at the, that house we just walked upon. I think it's a house. It didn't look like an apartment because it had a front door with a full opening and stairs, as you can see inside of it. So we're going to take a walk on the way out to this neighborhood. Babe still doesn't know where we're going, do you, babe? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you now before we get inside, because it's gonna be, it's a very small, intimate place. And it's gonna be loud. We won't probably be able to talk as much on the video. So, we, Style Squad, as you know, we, have, we love food. Obviously, that's probably why we have to work out so that we don't, because, 300 pounds a piece right. we love food we love fine dining we love experiences and we love michelin star restaurants and particularly in new york city because that's where we live and it is our goal to oh, i don't know if we can michi? i don't know if we can visit every single michi in new york city but we could maybe over the next 80 years correct yeah, it ain't that much well, who knows? It depends on how many we go to each year. Some new stars, some game stars, so. Right, so we're trying to go to as many as we can. And as a young brown couple, we want to share our experiences with other young brown couples so that you guys can. Couples period, really. Couples period, okay. We want to share our experience with other couples, young couples, 
so that you all can go and have these experiences as well because we don't often see young couples in these environments and yeah. we don't often see brown couples brown we can say couples. that we don't often see brown yeah. and black couples in there so we want to share so you guys can go as well today they're all special but today oh. to me this one is really special because oh, i know this one this is what? the first black owned. yes this is the first black uh chef in new york city the first name wow. michelin chef in new york city and we got reservations it's too so exclusive to get reservations here but the styles familiar got them so we're going to clover hill bk wow. to dine with the first black michelin chef of new york city hey. Hey. <laughs> So we're gonna do, we always do a tasting menu, so we're gonna do a tasting menu. Wow. Are you excited? I'm very excited. As a black I'm glad, man. I'm glad I, <laughs> oh, you know what, what's funny, yo? This is history. This is history. Listen, man, I, once, uh, listen, future kids, I was here. <laughs> okay, what the, here. okay, what the history book says, I was here. We're gonna bring you here too, no? Hopefully it's still around. I know, damn, it will be. <laughs> He'll have more, and there'll be hopefully more black Michelin star named chefs. So let's go. We're gonna take you along with us as i said it's a really small place it's intimate there's only a 28 to 30 seat capacity and they don't fill it up every night so oh, i'm excited might be full tonight though i'm coming seeing a lot of um well it's definitely full every night but i don't yeah. know if they that me means they give out every table they might seat 20 people so it's okay not okay packed. yeah yeah That's so let's see do. we're excited are you excited no, let's get it hey, history hey, 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 hey. all right let's go it's not that loud. They're not gonna be able to hear us, but it's not that loud. History in the making. Well, I do like how it's like it's, it's kind of cozy, you know? It's very cozy. Yeah, I like that.
What's good, Star Squad? We just got home. To just touched down. Um, we had an amazing night. Thank so you, baby. Amazing. Really appreciate it. Welcome. I also feel like it's a part of history because, oh, again, just getting tight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charlie Mitchell is the chef. first uh, executive, executive African American or black or brown chef to be at a Michelin star restaurant in New York City. In New York City, he's the second in all of the world. World. So that's Who's like the first black one. Hmm. Gotta find out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the first in New York City, that's dopeness. That's like that's like extra dope. We actually saw him in person. He was there. Um, he went around to every table except ours. For some <laughs> I think because we mm -hmm. had a camera. We had a camera. So maybe he was trying. You know, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be like you know. He's uh, he's already like celebrity status now, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe he thought so, we were popular. But it wasn't it wasn't like that, Charlie. It wasn't like that. Trust me. Not but, at all. Um, we're gonna tag good. you and tell you that. <laughs> You know, it's all love, though. It's all love. The food, the food actually was amazing. And again, we've been to a few Michelin restaurant restaurants, and but we're gonna recap. We're gonna recap. We, yeah. we we just want to close out the vlog here, but we're gonna recap in the nightcap in our bed. Not bad. We actually gotta walk. Look at one. <laughs> and a big boy. What happened? Oh, what's wrong, Pupu? Hey, though. You said you in a Michelin star restaurant without me? Hey, though. So cute. <laughs> Hi, all. <laughs> Hi, all. Yeah, bitch, you without me? All right. Let's go walk them and recap. I right, will walk them and we'll be back in the bed to recap.